this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care about that. Any of that. You don't care about your family's legacy? What I'm doing is my family's legacy. If I can't change things here, if I can't have an effect, I don't care what happens to me. That's what I'm afraid of. Alfred, stop. You're not my father. I'm well aware. Well, welcome back, everybody, to GMA3. That, of course, a clip from oh, the movie everybody can't wait to see. And our next guest playing Alfred Pennyworth in the highly anticipated, yes, new film, The Batman. You know him from his iconic roles, Gollum in Lord of the Rings trilogy, Caesar in the Planet of the Apes series, and now joining us from London and back here on GMA3 with us. Not in studio, but still good to see you. Andy Circus, how are you, my man? Um, very good, TJ. How are you doing? Nice to see you. It is so good to see you. Congrats on this movie. Um, but but what, I, I was with some folks who saw the movie uh, over the weekend, and as soon as your name came up, everybody around the table said the same thing. That dude is one of the best actors on the planet. How do you do this? So, oh, wow. many, uh, so many of your, your roles are for roles we don't actually see this face. Um, but what is it? How, how have you been so lucky and so blessed to get these great roles and you're nailing them every time? I think lucky is probably the operative word. I mean, look, uh, you know, uh, it's all about the role. And uh, an actor, when they're given a role, you know, I've had so many wonderful opportunities to play great characters in, in, in all of these great franchises. So, so I do count myself lucky. And, and tell us as well, this movie's been talked about and buzzed about for so, so long. And no matter if you're a fan of Michael Keaton, you can go back to, to, to Val Kilmer, you go back to, uh, you talk about the, Chris, uh, the Christopher Nolan trilogies as well. How is this one different? How is this one going to look and feel and maybe even surprise Batman fans um, and uh, this film? Well, I think I think two things. One, one is is that Batman is not fully formed. He's not. It's not an origin story. Neither is it a continuation. It's a. It is a complete standalone movie. But, but it, it it's like we arrive at, at where he's just beginning to crystallize what it is to be the Batman. You know, he's going from this singular person who is trying to to make sense of his you know upbringing and and the loss of his his parents and and the desire to be a good person to society but not knowing quite how to do it and 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 revenge is 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 what what is a, a driving force for him as a, as a way of doing good so it's very knotty and complicated emotionally for him and Plus, the, the Gotham that we see is, is incredibly kind of mythic and new and fresh. Well, we can't wait to see it. The wait is almost over. March 4th, The Batman is out in theaters. Andy Sergis, it is good to see you again. Hope we get you back in studio next time. But thanks so much for joining us again here. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Take care. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.